The Oklahoma Historical Society is honored to join with Oklahoma City University and the Oklahoma City Repertory Theater to present this evening's program, Music of the Dust Bowl. OCU is currently showcasing the Grapes of Rats stage play with performances this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as OHS members, you all will be afforded the discount of $15 per ticket. There are still tickets available. You can go to the OCU box office for more information. This evening, we are presenting readings from the play Grapes of Wrath and celebrating the music that was heard in churches, on porches, in juke joints, and on radios across the plains during the dark, dust bowl days of the Depression. This was a period of time when the roots of modern music were digging deep into the souls of people across America. The 1930s started as a time of despair, but ended with a sense of hope. This yearning for better times was expressed through the music of the people, a sentiment expressed by Tom Joad at the end of the story. Because of John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, and the song it inspired, Tom Joad, many people associate the music of Okima Naive Woody Guthrie with the Dust Bowl. In actuality, it was the gospel music of Albert Brumley, the blues and jazz music of Deep Deuce and the Black Towns, and of course, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys on Tulsa's KVOO that provided the soundtrack for Oklahomans surviving through difficult times. Albert Brumley was born in Spiro, Oklahoma, and is known as the father of gospel music. During his lifetime, he wrote more than 800 songs, including classics like Turn Your Radio On, If We Never Meet Again, This Side of Heaven, and He Set Me Free. Brumley came up with the idea of his most famous song, I'll Fly Away, while picking cotton on his father's farm in Rock Island, Oklahoma. During the 1930s, the song spread in popularity with churches across Oklahoma and to the south and the west. Singer-songwriter Monica Taylor from Perkins, Oklahoma, is part of the Red Dirt movement that draws from all of these musical styles. She will be performing a set inspired by Albert Brumley in the Southern Gospel tradition. So turn your radio dial to the Oklahoma Gospel Hour. Three, two, one, you're on the air. I'm on the air. Some little old gospel sh radio show that you listen to in the morning. Just imagine that. And y'all sing along to whatever you know. Go and listen to the radio station. Hear the mighty voice of Vince. If you want to hear the songs of Zion coming from the land of them spring into Chicka, turn your radio on, turn your radio on, and listen to the music in the air, turn your radio on, heaven's glory share, turn the lights down low, and listen to the master's radio into Chicka, turn your radio on. I'd like to welcome everybody to this morning's little corner of glory land right here on your local radio station. This is Sister Monica coming to you live as you come in from the morning chores, sitting around the kitchen table, enjoying some of Mama's cathead biscuits and red-eye gravy, maybe some sausage that Daddy laid back after the last hog killing. This is a song written by Ralph, this is a song written by Albert E. Brumley from here in Oklahoma. Sing that last verse and chorus with me if you would. 
Brother, listen to the glory lands. Chorus, listen to the glad old central. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. Get a little taste of joy away. Get a little heaven in your soul. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Turn your radio on. And listen to the music in the air. Turn your radio on. Heaven's glory share. Turn the lights down low. And listen to the master's radio. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Get in touch with God. Turn your radio on. Oh, yes, and here's another happy song that my mother taught me. She said it was written back in her younger days, maybe about 1899, by a Miss Ada Bleckenhorn and Mr. Howard Entwistle. Carter family does this song every day from their radio show just south of the border, just south of Del Rio, Texas. I'm sure y'all hear it. Y'all sing along with me on this one here. It'll make you happy. There's a bright and a sunny side of life. There's a dark and a troubled side too. Though you meet with the darkness and the strife, the sunny side may also find you. Well, the storms and its furies grow today, crushing hopes. That we cherish so dear Clouds and storms will in time pass away The sun again will shine bright and clear So keep on the sunny side Always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of the line It will help us every day It will brighten if we keep on the sunny side of the night. So let us greet with a song of hope each day. Though the moment be cloudy or fair. And let us trust in our Savior always. For we keep us everyone in his care. So keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of my mind. It will help us every day. It will brighten all our ways. If we keep on the sunny side of my mind. If we keep one of our own late last evening, Mrs. Virgil Carter. Lost her life as she was bringing in another life. She leaves Virgil with five children and now this newborn. I hope you will look after this family in their time of sorrow. I know you will because that's what we do. And we seem to do it more and more in this time that is called the Great Depression. So I'll send this old song out to Jenny as she finally wings her way home to heaven. I am a book with fair and stranger while traveling through this world of war. There is no sea, this torn or danger in that bright world to which I go. I know dark clouds will hover around me. I know no way is rough and steep. 
good beauty is fierce, not just the fool or me. Where God's redeemed, their religious key. I'm going back to see my mother. I'm going back. No more of I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. Salvation story in concert with the blood washed bay. How would I wear a crown of glory when I get home to that good land? I'm going. old time radio shows in the mornings had the gospel music for just a little bit 15 or 20 minutes and it got people going for the rest of the day that's what I've been trying to do for you here so I'll finish it out with Sister Monica doing her old fashioned gospel bit here to end this morning's program here's a zippy little tune that came down the pipe from the Hartford School of Music over in Hartford, Arkansas. Another song written by Albert E. Brumley. He said he wrote this song one day while he was working on his family sharecropping farm near Spiro, Oklahoma, picking cotton. He said that as he wiped the sweat from his face, from his brow, he would watch the birds flying overhead. They seemed to have not a care in the world except floating on the cool breeze. And that breeze is what God gave those birds so that they could rest their wings just a little while. And I hope y'all have a beautiful day as you work on your own farm. Y'all sing it with me and have yourself a doubly blessed day. Alrighty, let's hear your voices out there in Radio Land. Now some morning when the sloth is over I by way of to way home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away just a few more now just a few more weary days and things I'll fly away to a land where joy shall never be And a happy
no day. In the morning, the dust hung like fog. Men stood by their fences and looked at the ruined corn, drying fast now, only a little green showing through the film of dust. And the women came out of the houses to stand beside their men to feel whether this time the men would break. The women studied the men's faces secretly, for the corn could go as long as something else remained. I've been thinking. I've been in the hills thinking, almost you might say, like Jesus went to the wilderness to think his way out of a mess of troubles. Now, I ain't saying I'm like Jesus, but I got tired like him, and I got mixed up like him, and I went into the wilderness like him without no camping stuff, and I got thinking. Only it wasn't thinking, it was deeper down than thinking. I got thinking how there was the moon and the stars and the hills. And there was me looking at him. And we wasn't separate no more. We was one thing. And that one thing was holy. I got thinking how we was holy when we was one thing. And mankind was holy when it was one thing. And it only got unholy when one miserable little fella got the bit in his teeth and run off his own way, kicking and dragging and fighting. A fella like that busts the holiness. But when they're all working together, kind of harness to the whole shebang, that's right. That's holy. And then I got thinking that I don't even know what I mean by holy. I can't say grace like I used to say. I'm glad of the holiness of supper, and I'm glad there's love here. That's all. I've got your supper, Cole, um, Amen. <laughs> As 
young man, Harold Aldrich, picked up the blues from listening to the music coming out of the juke joints in the all-black town of Taft, Oklahoma. It was here that Harold learned that when it came to music, the line that separates the sacred from the secular could appear very distinct, but in reality was often blurred. Tonight he will share with us a history of the blues and its influence on the Oklahoma musical landscape. So sit back on this hot Oklahoma night and feel some blues. Good evening. Um, you know, I, I was a little nervous tonight because they set me between these two dynamic groups, right? <laughs> Sylvia's group and Sister Monica. And then I got to thinking, you know, um, I, get a, I get a chance to pass on some information to you about the blues and then about how the blues got to Oklahoma and how blues evolved as it moved. When it left the deep south and moved toward the east coast, there was music already there that intermarried with the deep, dark blues of the deep south. And they called that the Piedmont blues. And then blues left the south and moved toward Texas, Louisiana, moved up there, and then from Louisiana, South Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, the blues migrated to Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is at a crossroads of the music, leaving Texas through Oklahoma into Kansas City and Missouri. From, from uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, through Oklahoma to California. From there up to Memphis, all the way up to Chicago, and from there to the Upper East Coast. And where it came from was uh, field hollows and work songs where they didn't have very much to play with, didn't have any instruments, so they, they used their feet and their hands. And then they tried to pro pro portray messages to the young people that were coming along. And they didn't have uh, radios, so things were passed verbally from one person to the next, and then it, sometimes it would catch on. And then you had some musicians who decided that if they could play music and make a living, they would rather be doing that than chopping down trees, plowing, hoeing, uh, picking cotton, and everything else. And so some of them came up with stuff that had a message to it. For instance, this song. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Don't you mind people grinning in your face, in your face. They'll grin in your face. They'll party with you all around town. Soon as your back is turned, they'll stamp you to the ground. Bear this in mind, a true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Yeah. Your love may say we're through. Well, leave you sad and blue. One heart finds another. A mind blowing lover. Bear this in mind. A true friend is all to find. Don't you mind? People grinning in your face, in your face. Don't you mind people grinning in your face? Now here's a surprise for you. Your mama may talk about you. Well, your brother, daddy. 
daddy's sisters too. Huh. Don't matter how you try to live, they're talking about you still. Bear this in mind, a true friend is hard to find. Don't you mind people grinning in your face, in your face? Don't you mind people grinning? In your face, all you had you come around, skinning and a grinning, patting you on the back, shaking your hands, telling you you my main man, you my sister girl. I'll be there with you through thick and thin. And when you, when things start falling down in life, and your main squeeze says, I think we need to separate so I can find myself. And your job is gone, and people dying all around you, and it's getting thick. And you stop, and you look around for your friends, and you got a little thin. <laughs> And see, this chance and stuff like that are, are universal because it comes right down to it. The friend is the one that's going to be there. And then it came from field halls and work songs. And, uh, and so we, you had um, these young black men working in these plantations, plowing these mules. And early in the mornings, they would have to build one another up. And so the one guy way on this side of the plantation, there was a lot of mules, and you go in there and you had to try to catch one of them. They're kicking at you, biting at you, because they know it was waiting on them. And they got on, way on the other side of the plantation, there's a lot, and they got mules in there. They've been feeding them whole corn, just throw the corn in there and let them eat it all night long. So they're rolling and eating corn all night. And the brother gets up in the morning, and he hollered way over there. He'd holler, hey, hey. He said, you know, I plowed old Jesse, yes, I did well, well. And I plowed old Bell. I can't find one new, we'll show the well. Well, 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 we'll show the well. And see, a mule with a sore shoulder, when he pulled, it wouldn't pull either. And it would jerk you. And you didn't want to be jerked all morning until the sore shoulder got numb and then it would pull even. So they didn't want to plow a mule with a sore shoulder. And the other young brother way over across the plantation says, Hey, if I feel like this in the morning, hey, hey, would y'all want to help me with this? Yeah, yeah, we can do this together. You just got through singing with uh, Sister Monica. You can sing a little plantation music around here. And when you get up in the mornings to go to work or whatever you're doing, being busy, I want you to think of this. And all you got to do is think of Sister Monica and sing a little gospel to you. And then think of these field house songs that are designed to build you up. All right, here's what, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to go, hey, and I want you to do that, okay? <laughs> hey, 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 woo, look at him, get in there, that new has got to get in now. <laughs> now what you got to do after we do it, we're going to do it one more time, and then when we finish, when you go through it and do it, hey, 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 and then we're going to do like a big dog at the end, we're going to go, woo. All right, boy, that'll get you up. All right. Hey! Hey! Woo. All right. <laughs> and you see, it took all of that and, and, and some other things to go along with it to, to make the blues. And then they take a work song, especially when they had to do things in cadence together, like... Uh, Railroad work where you had to put a, uh, a line bar down so you could line up the rails on the cross ties before you start driving the spikes. And also, when the, the railroad tracks were sitting on top of ground, and so when the trains would go into a corner, it would move the tracks. So you had to get those guys down there before the next train came through to la line the track back up because it was out of line. And so they would come together with a 
on a number of men. See, my grandfather worked on the Midland Valley Railroad uh, in, coming through Muskogee uh, from 1920 to 1945. And so they had all this kind of stuff going on. So they put the, the lining bar down and then they would start bumping that railroad track top over. And when they would do that, they would make a song up to try to get them all together. And the guy would say, all right, all right. Hey. What say the convict going to die? Pray on his lips and tears in his eyes. He said, good Lord, have mercy. Good Lord, have mercy. Good Lord, have mercy. He said, just a little bit, just a head. Right there, move on down the line. And so they, he put all of that together, and then he came up with some of the blues. Now, the blues that came to Oklahoma came from the freedmen from the South, not the freedmen of the five so-called civilized tribes, because they sang the songs that were the, of the tribal nations who were their slave owners. Now the blues that came here, it came here from people looking for a better life. Uh, my grandfather was one of them, and my, uh, my dad's grandparents were others that came to Oklahoma. Now this is a song about a guy who, uh, I, uh, the, the feeling of it is that he came with the blues. Now, when I, I was growing up as a boy, I was around these older men. I used to call them old men until I got their age. <laughs> these older men. And, uh, and, and I was trying to play the guitar with them, and sometimes I would ask them, what key? And a lot of the guys, I'm saying a lot, it wasn't that many of them, they didn't know a key. And this one guy, I, I kept trying to find him, you know, Sorry. <laughs> I kept trying to find him on his guitar. And I said, what key? And he said, son, it's the key of me. <laughs> now find that. <laughs> and what they do, they find one thing and just play that.
find my love in a brand new baby child. Brand new baby child. Brand new baby child. Thank you. And uh, this this next song is a. Uh, end up talking too much when I do this stuff here. Uh, not long ago, I, I did a thing for the blues here, and I didn't get through half of my songs. I was too busy talking. I guess that, that school teacher is still in me, you know? I think I have something to say. <laughs> Sitting on top of the world. I wish you were alive to sit on top of the world. My baby told me she loved another man. Lord, no reason. Said it fit into her lofty plan. Now she's gone. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, you know, I, I, I accept that from those guys, uh, those older gentlemen that I learned the music from. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they, they would think this would be a gas. Because uh, when, when you, in front of these juke joints, see, Tad, at that time in the 50s and the early 60s, there was no law there. There were no curfews. It was a historic all-black town. And people got along. I mean, it wasn't the shooting and stabbing and cutting and all of that. Everybody got along. And they had all of these, they had five churches in Tad. They still have those same five churches. If you stood in one spot in Tad and got a good flat sail rock, you could hit each one of the five churches. <laughs> and they had about four or five juke joints, and they had one club. And uh, with the juke joints, out in front, there would be an older gentleman, and he'd have his guitar, and sometimes he'd have a little amplifier about that big, and uh, it squealed more than it did anything. And they would, you know, open up their guitar case, and I always thought they threw some seed money in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looking for a tip. 
And uh, so they are the ones that I, I started learning the, the stuff from. And, uh, and, you know, I think I'm, I'm close to that group uh, who were some of the founders, as I saw them. And then, because these guys were in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, this, this song here is going to be my last one. It's about my daddy's coon hunting buddy. They coon hunt at night, squirrel hunt, and they drink that moonshine. <clears throat> That's probably what I needed to clear my throat with a little shout. Knock that image off. <laughs> this guy um, ended up killing a man here in Oklahoma. He, he escaped from a lynch mob out of Mississippi, and he, he would tell the story about how he, he uh, swam the Mississippi. Daddy said, Bill, how, how, did, how did you do that? He said, that... that that river was a mile wide. He said he'd swam from one driftwood and log to the next, and they turned the dogs out to, to catch him. And he had an owl head pistol. And he said when he made it to the other side, his dogs were coming, so he knew he couldn't outrun them, so he waded into the water, and he'd wait on one at a time and shoot him. And he dripped on down. He said the other dogs saw death coming, but they couldn't turn around too close to the bank. And he would cry when he'd tell that story because he was a dog lover. He was a dog man. So this, this is a song about Bill Bates.
poor boy's tremolo. Comes a time when a man gets mad. Tom, you told me, you promised me you wasn't like that. You promised. I know, Ma, I'm trying. But, but them deputies, Ma, if it was the law they was working with, well, we could take it. But it ain't the law. They're working away at our spirits. They're trying to make us cringe and crawl like a whipped bitch. They're trying to break us. Why, Jesus Christ, Ma, there comes a time when the only way a fella can keep his decency is by taking a sock at a cop. They're working on our decency. Honest Tom. I'm trying, Ma. Honest to God, I am. You don't want me to cringe and crawl like a beat bitch with my belly on the ground, do you? I'm praying. You gotta keep clear, Tom. The family's breaking up. You gotta keep clear. I'm trying, Ma. But when one of them fat asses gets to working me over, I got a big job of trying. If it was the law, they'd be, they'd be different, but burn the camp ain't the law. Easy. You gotta have patience. Why, Tom? Us people will go on living when all of them people is gone. Why, Tom, we're the people that live. They ain't gonna wipe us out. But we're the people. We go on. We take a beating all the time. But, Tom, we keep a coming. Don't you fret none, Tom. A different time's coming. How do you know? I don't know. Never heard you talk so much in all my life. Tom, what's the matter? Shh, don't talk loud. I got in a fight. Tom! I couldn't help it, Ma. You in trouble? Yeah, in trouble. I can't go out to work. I got to hide. Is it bad? Nose busted. I mean the trouble. Yeah, bad. I went out to see what all that yelling was about. I come on, Casey. The preacher? Yeah, the preacher. Only he was elite in the strike. They come for him. Who come for him? I don't know. They had pick handles. They, they killed him. Busted his head. I was standing right there. I went nuts, grabbed a pick handle. I, I clubbed a guy. Kill him? I, I don't know. I went nuts, tried to. Was you saw? I guess so. They had lights on us. Tom, you gotta go away. I know, Ma. You gotta have a bad scar, Tom, and your nose is all crooked. Maybe that's a good thing. Nobody would know me, maybe. If my prince was on record, I'd be glad. I want you to go long ways off. Look him up. I've been, I've, been, I've been hiding all night alone. I've been thinking about Casey. He talked a lot, used to bother me. But now I've been thinking what he said and I can remember all of it. He was a good man. Hush, listen. It's all your wind, Ma. I know the wind. Tom, what you aiming to do? What Casey done. But they killed him. Yeah, he didn't duck quick enough. He wasn't doing nothing against the law, Ma. I've been thinking a hell of a lot thinking about how our people living like pigs and the good rich land laying fallow. Or maybe one fellow with a million acres while a hundred thousand good farmers is starving. And I've been wondering if all our folks got together and yelled like them fellas yelled. Only a few of them outside the gate. Tom, they'll cut you. They'll drive you and cut you down. They're going to drive me anyways. They're driving all our people. How am I going to know about you? They might kill you, and I wouldn't know. They might hurt you. How am I going to know? Well, maybe like Casey says, the fella ain't got a soul of his own, but only a piece of a bigger one. And then... Then what, Tom? Then it don't matter. Then I'll be all around in the dark. I'll be everywhere. Wherever you look, wherever there's a fight so hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Wherever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. And when our folks eat the stuff they raise and live in the houses they build, why, well, I'll be there. See? Oh, God, I'm talking about Casey. I don't understand. I, I don't really know. Me neither. 
It's just stuff I've been thinking about. Tom, later, when it's blowed over, you'll come back, you'll find us? Sure. Now I better go. Goodbye. came to Oklahoma eight years ago looking for an outlet to perform a style of music he helped create. He found a home in Tulsa at the Canes Dance Academy on North Main Street, combining jazz, the blues, country, and even a little gospel. Bob Wills became known as the king of Western Swing. During the late 1930s, Bob took his Texas Playboys to dance halls around the state and provided the public an opportunity to escape the worries of everyday life and hope for a better tomorrow. Shelby Eichner comes from a family of musicians who grew up playing square dances in his home state of Ohio. He quickly became a multi-talented musician and joined Roy Clark's band in Tulsa performing country and western music around the world in concerts and on television. Shows like The Tonight Show and Hee Haw. The Shelby Iker Band currently keeps the music of Bob Wills alive, where they perform regularly at Kane's Ballroom in Tulsa. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Kane's Academy, so find yourself a dance partner and enjoy some Western Swing. Are y'all ready for some film music?
all around about June I'll be walking with sugar Neat the old sugar moon All the kids is good To expect me soon Say I'm craving some sugar Neat the old sugar moon Well I can tell you right now She get the calendar down Scratch a circle around The date that I get in town When the sugar cane time Long around about June I'm walking with sugar Neat the old sugar moon Sugar, need the old sugar moon. All the kisses I've missed, I'll be getting them soon. Those kisses from sugar, need the old sugar moon. While I'll be dreaming sweet dreams of all the loving I give. When I'm back with my pet, Lordy, I won't forget. When the sugar cane time. Long around about June, I'll be walking with sugar, need the old sugar moon. Sugar moon. Thank you. Well, thank you all very much. Uh, I think Bob Wills brought a lot of uh, a lot of hope to a lot of people. It was entertainment, and uh, his, you can hear his music, there's a lot of happiness. And uh, here in the shadow of our capital, we'd like to play a Bob Will song that is our state country music song, and it's Faded Love. <laughs> very much. You know, uh, Bob Wills liked the blues too, and here's a little bit of it. Well, 
Spencer Sutton. This is one of my best friends in the whole world. This is Steve Morton. I mean, Rick Morton. <laughs> and this is my youngest son over on the electric mandolin. It's Isaac Iger. Well, we have had a pleasure to be here. What a great event. And we're going to sing about our hometown. A lot of us live in Tulsa. We played the Kings Ballroom. Right? You can always find us on Facebook, or we have a website, and all that. But we wish you'd come and just come and dance with us. Here's a little bit. Take me back to Tulsa. Yes, 
someone's called a dino. Stole my heart away from me way down in Louisiana. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm too young to marry. For the little bit of sex and lots of big, big gifts of honey. Poor man picks a cotton and the rich man gets some money. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Walk and talk to Susie, walk and talk to Susie, walk and talk to Susie, walk and talk to Susie. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Thank you very much. We appreciate everything you do. Have a good evening. Good night.